Hey guys, um, I, I wanted to kind of put up another brief kind of um, video out there in regards to, you know, President Trump's performance um, against Biden and <clears throat> a lot of the pundits, even today, and this, and they are basically saying if and when Trump um, debates Biden again, um, he must let Biden speak, let him kind of fall on his own sword. That's kind of the, the general gist of it, and, and not bad not go after him like he did last time and you know i've, I've been hearing quite a bit of this um you know from people that I, I tend to kind of respect at some degree sometimes they say things that i i don't agree with at all you know ben shapiro was kind of saying this i heard frank luntz this morning say this and i haven't seen him in a long time guys lost a lot of weight anyway <clears throat> kind of getting an aside but i completely disagree with that completely disagree with that think about it the so you're going to have two, two basically schools of people that are going to be watching it. That's a, I'm, I'm, we're, I'm assuming that Trump's going to debate Biden again. Um, I don't see any need to. Trump's already said he didn't see a need to debate. He says it, my my big guess is it's not going to happen. But this point I thought was relevant in the sense that you got two schools. You got people that are that are pro Trump. And you've got people that hardcore pro Trump, and frankly, I'm one of them. So obviously, my opinion here is colored, but take it for what it's worth. You've got, I'm not going to say pro Biden. I think these people over here are just the anti Trumpers. And I don't think there's anybody in the middle. So anybody that says they're on the fence, that, that doesn't exist, in my opinion. I just don't believe that exists at all. So, anyway, so you've got that. Um, the people that are anti Trump. Only listen to the main, the fake news, mainstream media propaganda engine. It's all they're listening to. All they spew are untruths and unlies. And people can say you, they can debate whether it's a lie or not. But number one, most of it is all opinionated. Most of it is all emotional. <laughs> Just look at the, the the China virus kind of thing that you know Trump went through this past week and him coming out of it. Everything was just emotional, had no no facts behind it whatsoever. So there's that, and they're feeding off people's emotions and basically revving them up to hate Trump. So so you bear, keep that in mind. If you want to, and, and just from a pure pure facts perspective, I mean, if you ever want that, if you go to the WhiteHouse.gov and look at the executive orders, if you do any simple, you know, web searches, I mean, you can kind of you know prove and show that most everything Trump says is true. I'm gonna say most ever. I mean, he does use marketing spin, which is different than an out and out lie, but that's a different discussion. In any event, so let's just look at the last debate that Trump was in with Biden. So Biden out and out lies. Trump basically calls him out on his lies and he pins him down. Now let's let's say that he does what he he did and he let's say he does what they're suggesting and just let Biden talk. Well, if you remember when Biden did his acceptance speech for the presidential um, nomination, um, he stood up he articulated himself. He didn't fall flat on his face for the 15 minutes or so that he did his thing. And the press just wooed the hell out of him. Said he did a fantastic job, how presidential, yada, yada, yada. And the people that are on that side of the, of the fence, <clears throat> that's all they hear. And that's all they're emotionally hearing, period. So whether he, and him stumbling on himself doesn't seem to make a dent. So there's that. The media will spin it if he lets him talk. I'm sure Biden, like the the the, the debate um, a couple of weeks back, um, you know, but I thought Biden did a fair job as far as standing up and not falling on himself and and stumbling, if you will. So if that would have been allowed to carry on, the press would have would have spun it that he knocked it out of the park and killed it. Um, whereas the reality is, I mean, he was being he was pretty handheld through that process. But in any event, my, I guess my only point is. Um, if you let him talk, the media will spin it, which is all the 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 the, the zombies, <laughs> the, the zombies, the hypnotized people here is what the media says is that he won, he knocked it out of the park, he killed it. So you, you got that. 
And then um, on the on Trump's on Trump's side, I think if he continues to call, the reason why the media got so bent out of shape because that Trump was kind of badgering him and really calling him out for his lies was because it put it taints the narrative they want to spin that he did a fantastic job. So for anybody that says Trump needs to shut up, not badger him, let him talk, they don't have we the people's best interest at, at heart. They just don't. Um, I personally don't think there's any value in a, de in a debate because there's nobody in the middle. I'm, I can't imagine anybody being in the middle. You either are anti-I hate, hate Trump or you're a Trump supporter, a We the People supporter. That's it. Full stop. Um, and it's clear that you know Bi Biden's not a viable candidate. It's clear Kamala... You know, if, if she came in behind, if she became president behind Biden, which I can't imagine that not happening, um, that it would be a cluster, complete cluster. And our, our country, our constitutional government would be gone. So, and then, so anyway, I, I just want to put that out there. I think anybody that says um, Trump should let him talk, not do what he did last time around, I completely disagree. And I would I would question the motives of anybody out there that says that. I really, really would. Um, so just my opinion for what it's worth, as you as I say say all the time. Talk soon guys.